Welcome to World by Point, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. I'm Wumi Ademola. Do you need a miracle from God? Do you need God to intervene in your situation? Do you need God to answer your prayer? Well, today, my friend, I'm going to share with you the three things you must give to God if you need a miracle from God. First of all, you must give God your trust. You must give God your trust. Of the Israelites, it was said in 1 Chronicles 5.20 that God heeded their prayer. He answered their prayer because they put their trust in him. Friend, that's the first thing. If you need an answer from God, a miracle from God, a breakthrough from God, first thing is you must put your trust in him. Because if you do not put your trust in God, God cannot help you. The Bible says in Psalm 78, 41, that God could do nothing for the Israelites. As a matter of fact, it says that they limited God through their lack of trust and their lack of faith in God. So if you don't put your trust in God, he cannot help you. He cannot answer your prayer and he cannot give you the miracle that you desire. But I tell you, there's nothing God will not do for you when you put your trust in him. Luke 1 45 says that blessed is she or he who believes God, who trusts in God, because there shall be a performance of the things promised them from the Lord. So the first thing is you must give God your trust. Secondly, you must give God time. Give God time. Ecclesiastes 3 11 says that God makes it all beautiful. He's made everything beautiful in its time. I tell you, there's nothing that is too hard for God to do. That was what the Lord God told Abraham in Genesis 18, 14. He says, is there anything too hard for the Lord? But then he now said, at the appointed time, see that? At the appointed time, I will return to you according to the time of life and Sarah shall have a son. So there's nothing too hard for God to do. There is no situation he cannot solve or intervene. However, there is an appointed time. There is a time that God has appointed to make it beautiful and you must not rush God. You must wait on God. The Bible in Isaiah 28, 16 says, he who trusts God will not rush here and there. So if you trust God, don't rush God. Wait on God as we are commanded to do in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 where the Bible says, At the time I have decided, this is God talking, At the time I have decided, my words will come true. You can trust what I say about the future. It may take a long time, but keep on waiting. It will happen, says the Lord your God. So you need to give God time. You need to wait on God. Don't go rushing, seeking alternatives. Wait on God. And as he promised, he says it will surely happen. Thirdly, when you want a miracle from God, the third thing you need to give God is to give God thanks. To give God thanks. And I tell you, this is the biggest gift that you can give God. Thanking him in advance. You know, the Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it says, In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So, in everything means give God thanks in advance. While you're still in the midst of that situation. While you're still waiting for things to change. While you're still waiting for your miracle to become manifest or your prayer to become answered. Give God thanks. This is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. John eleven forty one. 41, Jesus himself gave us that example as he was standing before the tomb of Lazarus, before God answered the prayer. You see, Jesus needed the Lord God to cause resurrection power to fall on Lazarus and raise this guy that had been dead for four days from the dead. And God knew that if he needed a miracle from God, he needed to give God thanks. And that was exactly what the Lord Jesus Christ did. The Lord Jesus Christ standing in the front of Lazarus' tomb. That's what the Bible tells us in John eleven forty one. 41. The Bible says, Jesus lifted up his eyes and he said, Father, I thank you because you have heard me. So my friend, are you trusting God for a miracle? Do you need answer to prayer? And still what is staring before you, your eyes is a dead situation. Things don't seem to have changed. Well, 
follow the example of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand before that situation and say, Father, I give you thanks because I know you have heard me. Three things to give God when you're trusting him for a miracle. Number one, give him your trust. Number two, give him time. And number three, give God thanks. And I tell you, before you know it, God will surely do whatever it is he promised to do for you. Thank you for listening today. I do trust you were blessed. Don't forget to share this video with a friend, like it, and also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe also to our YouTube channel, Knowing God Media, and see you next time for another awesome episode of Word.